Screen three, Timber. Screen four, Dr. Shiggs. Screen five, UNR, Kalaya. There's an underground Screen cyber six, scene that's becoming a gold mine. Computer games are evolving really quickly. If you think of the money going through the computer games industry, it's crazy. It's bigger than Hollywood. You have taken the lead. A new breed of gamers known as cyber athletes have turned their passion into a profession. Excellent. In America, the biggest player is Fatality. This year, I managed pulling $110,000 in, in one year in addition prize money. Britain's Quake 3 scene isn't far behind. If you're good at the game, you can really make a name for yourself. You can be at these $100,000 tournaments winning lots of money. If my dreams came true, I'd be the world champion and I'd be a millionaire. Just you uh, playing tournaments and gaming and you win money, so it's every kid's dream. 19-year-old schoolboy Ian Holder, known online as Timber, is a rising star in the world of gaming. Timber really is really good. Timber aspires to be the next Sue Joy Roy, the David Beckham of cyberspace. 25-year-old Cambridge graduate Sue Joy gave up his plum job in the city to play games full-time. He's now a household name amongst gamers and commands large sums in tournament wins and sponsorship. Next year, I'm pretty sure I'll be earning over £100,000 a year. Within the last year, I've been to over 10 different countries at least, so many different cities, I've met so many different people. It really is the ultimate job for me. Despite Sujoy's success, young Timber thinks that given half a chance, he could do even better. In my opinion, he, he hasn't achieved that. He hasn't achieved what I would want to achieve. Nowhere near. There's new players coming in, so, you know, nothing's, nothing's safe. I've got, to, I've got to work hard for that now. This is the cheque I've won recently, £7,000. And that was for the UK qualifier uh, for the World Cyber Games Championships, which was held in Korea. This is the trophy I won for winning that competition. It's quite cool. It's a really nice trophy. Very nice trophy. I like it a lot. <laughs> Especially that check. Timbers in a Quake 3 qualifying tournament in London. There's five grand up for grabs. And, for the lucky winner, an all expenses paid trip to Dallas, Texas for the $100,000 final. Sujoy has secured a place in the American final, so he'll not be tested today. But he'll go to the qualifier to spectate. For Timber, the only chance of making it across the water is the triumph in the qualifier. He's a hot favourite, but competition is strong. His first match is against Requiem. Quake 3 is a PC shoot 'em up game where two opponents hunt each other down, usually over the internet. They move around a battlefield, scoring as many kills as they can in a given time limit of 10 minutes. Uh, okay, hey mate. Difficult, it's just too good with the lightning gun and I didn't really stand a chance. The rest of his life isn't going so smoothly. Timber's in danger of finding his education in an abyss. His love of gaming means he's repeating a year at school and his daily five-hour practice swamps any revision for his A-level retakes. It must have been a bit like Tim Henman when he was younger. You know, does he play tennis or does he do his A-levels? Uh, that, that's a constant problem with young people and their parents. He could go completely into the gaming side, but I'm not sure that would reap any rewards. I would prefer him to pursue a career and have the, the gaming side Hobby. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Good, not bad, thanks, sir. <coughs> what can I do for you, sir? Um, I'm just asking about time off school for a trip to either to Dallas in two weeks' to time. To Dallas? Yeah. Dallas, 
Texas? Yeah. You've won a, a, a trip to Dallas, have you? No, I'm, uh, it's the competition. This is what the competition is for? Yeah, and if I win it, I go to Dallas. And how long would you be in Dallas for? A week, I think. A week. I am a little concerned. I think it's fortuitous that you're coming here now. Fortuitous for us, that is, in that <coughs> you... We do have some concerns about things. If at the end of the day, Ian turns out to be not as good as he thought, and he's, you know, he loses these competitions, and then he's you know, not done as well as in A-levels because of that, then he'll be in a very sticky situation. Currently, are you giving your, your academic studies the priority, the attention they deserve? Um, not this week, because I'm practicing for the competition. So just this week? Yeah, just this week. I've been playing a lot of quick feet. If I was in Ian's shoes, I would have stopped playing the game ages ago. <laughs> Same as I did. What we don't want to be doing is ending on a down, yeah. on a critical down, on an avoidable down. All right. Yeah. So, with with a with some slight reservations, yeah, you go, you win, and then you're off to Dallas. Once you've got the, the competition out of the way, not surprisingly, but something's got to change. Yeah, it will be. And number one, what's got to change is your attendance. Your attendance is unsatisfactory yeah. and unacceptable. Yo. With America in his sights, Timbers just made it through to the quarter-finals. You watched me? Live? Alright. So far, he's avoided his one failing. He's favoured three of the playing arenas, but not mastered the fourth. He's got a weakness, which is one of the four maps, which is Q3 DM6, and he hates that map, basically. So if he draws that against a good player, he could be in trouble. All right, here we go. Timber comes up against his friend, Luke. They can't agree on a playing arena, so there's no choice but to roll for it. I got my worst map. <laughs> his best one as well. Timbers got in the crucial first kill. You have taken the lead. But can he keep it up against this ferocious assault from Luke? Ooh, Luke's suffering badly to Timbers' shotgun. 5-0 to Timber. Can Luke make his mark on the match? Yes, Luke claws back a point from Timber. But is there time to make up the difference? Luke's very much on the offensive and it's paying off. Timber dies spectacularly there. 6-2 and time's ticking by. Oh, it's all over for Luke. Again. Timber's well on his way to becoming a genuine pro, but he's learning there's more to being a professional than winning matches. The money men care as much about media hype as fast fingers. To Timber's frustration, Sue Joy's PR skills are burying him alive. An internet war has resulted. She was wondering what I was, why I was writing about CJ. Ah, that's him. He's replied to me. Alright. What did you say to him? First phase. He accused me of cheating. When? What, a fusion? Yeah. That was, that was two two years ago. He accused me of cheating. I don't care. Was he said like, that recently? Yeah, last week. He says he's the best in the UK. Well, I guess I'm the best in the UK. I just assume it's just. I think Timber, you know, he's going to fancy himself because he knows he's good, he knows he's got talent. I think sometimes people underrate me personally because I haven't played much in the UK, but... Uh, so he, he's, he's going to say he'll win. Oh, that's no, that's not very nice. I, mean, that's I didn't write that. That's just silly. I don't blame him for being a bit cheesed off with that. I mean, he's got a lot of talent, um, but he... Sometimes he makes mistakes or he makes bad decisions, but uh, uh, I fancy my chances as well, so... Seems like you need to play suit, do you? Yes. I mean, the only way you can prove you're better than someone is just by beating them, isn't it? I've already beat them. Oh, no, I'll beat them again then. But to get to Dallas and the chance to prove he's better than Sujoy, Timber's got to win the semi-final against Spanish-born Logan, the dark horse of the tournament.
Timber is the favourite, he's like the well-known player. Logan's one of the top Spanish players. And he's only been here for like a short while, which is why not many people know about him here. But I mean, we've seen him playing down here in Nezza stuff. The match starts badly for Logan. Come on, Tim. Hold him. Yes! And then it gets worse. Timber crushes Logan 7-0. Uh, Timber is playing really strong today, he's really uh, playing really solid and, and everything. He really seemed to be on another level. After 14 hours of hard competition, the final looms. It's tough at the top, and Timber must destroy his good friend Blokey to make it to America. This is the big one. A classic match between the first and second seed. Blokey's just got in the first kill. Timber's not taking this line down. He's fighting back with a heroic effort. This could be a turning point. Oh, but superb shooting from Timber. Blokey's got his work cut out now. We're in the dying stages of the game. Blokey has nothing to lose and throws himself at his opponent. That's it. It's all over. Timber has won the qualifier. So the scene is set for Timber to take on the big boys in the $100,000 American final and to make a play for Sujoy's British crown. The competition has Sujoy ranked just one ahead of Timber. So uh, yeah, if they did come together, it'll be an awesome match, that's for sure. Putting the pros out to the test. Which house had sex with Allie? With Allie? They're illegal, aren't they? Yes, it does. Believe in us? They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Why do you think you, Anthony Soprano, always has to set things right? It's in the box. Same. Uncle June, how was Boca? Wonderful. I don't go down enough. It's not what I heard. David Cusumano asked me to play a little golf with him at his club. Membership's closed. Closed. At least I can deal with my own problems. Unlike some I know. What's that supposed to mean? Don't touch it. The Sopranos. Sunday from 10.30 on E4. Brighter prices, brighter shopping. Additions, the bright new clothing catalogue, now at Argos. Alan? How could you leave? We had some good times, didn't we? We've been through this. You're not my bank manager anymore. Oh, yes. The Abbey National Bank accounts. Easy peasy, never squeezy. I've kept some of your old bank statements. <laughs> Brian, please. I'll write to you. I've moved on! Free of charge! Happy National, because life's complicated now. Remember the 60s? I can't believe some of the things I used to wear. Oh, how we cooked. All that fat and cholesterol. But these days we know better and look out for healthy new alternatives like So Good. Rich in soya protein and calcium. So good is the proven everyday way to actively lower cholesterol, build strong bones and maintain a healthy heart. It's so good. It's so me. <laughs> it's your colonel coming at you. Hey, now let me show you something special. My new crispy popcorn chicken. Real tender chicken with a crispy coating in handy bite-sized pieces. Hey, how's that for finger licking chicken you can pop in your mouth? Slam dunk some today! All you gotta do is shoot on down to KFC. Don't forget to check out my new website. With AOL, we'll give you the opportunity to enter a whole new world. So now you can do what you really want to, whenever you want to do it. And we'll even 
help make sure your kids don't get to see anything you don't want them to see. Only what you do. Welcome to AOL. Call 0800 237 237 to be part of it. Bueno. What's that? Something you've never tasted before. Crispy wafer covered in chocolate with a smooth and creamy hazelnut filling. It's both crispy and creamy. You haven't lived until you've tried one. Bueno. Deliciously crispy. Deliciously creamy. Hi, I'm Toby Skelton. And this is my friend, Charlie. New Danone Active is bottled water with calcium. Mum says it's good for my bones. Danone Active helps me get the calcium I need. But as for Charlie, he hasn't got any. <laughs> Danone Active. It's got calcium, but it's still water. Are you living life in full colour? Advanced Formula Multibionta from Seven Seas. It's a complete multivitamin with multiminerals and probiotics. And voted best health supplement by Zest Magazine. Advanced Formula Multibionta from Seven Seas. Dallas, Texas. 500 heroes of professional computer gaming flock to one of the largest events in the cyber calendar, the $100,000 CPL tournament. I want you to know that this is by far the largest event ever done of this type in the United States. We have $525,000 worth of computers. We laid four miles, $6,000 worth of uh, Category 5 monster cable. British player Timbers flown 4,000 miles to prove himself against the giants of the game. His friend, Bloki, has also made it through via another competition. Nick and Glenn, the managers of their regular cyber bar, come along to protect their investment. Sue Joy Roy is the UK's premier pro gamer and Timbers' deadly rival. He's quitting the quiet streets of Perryvale for the glamour of San Diego. The gaming scene in America is absolutely huge. Moving to America has really opened up the whole new door for me. There's a whole load of potential here for people who are good at what they do. You can make a living out of it from sponsorship and prize money. It's two in the morning and Sue Joy and his fellow gamers, Twiggy and Hakeem, are practicing for the coming contest. So, how do the professionals rate Timber's chances in the upcoming $100,000 tournament? He could do quite well, but he's quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 can, you, can quote, you can quote me on that. He has like one of the most like, incredible aims I've ever seen, and, and reaction time. And he always has the potential, but can't seem to keep himself together almost in the tournaments and just does odd things. I mean, it's almost as if he doesn't realise it. Just something happens in every tournament, doesn't it? Yeah. In Korea. He lost to the French guy in the first round. Sujoy and his mates also run a lucrative website. Some say Sujoy's more into marketing than gaming. For a little while I stopped playing because there wasn't much in the way of tournaments um, and I had more important things to do but uh, this Dallas one's really quite big and um, you know it's yeah, I don't know I guess I'm a gamer at heart because when when you get comments from people saying oh he's no good anymore and stuff like that you know it kind of drives you Makes you want to play better, makes you want to win. Sue Joy was the first UK gamer to go pro, becoming an idol to amateurs like Timber. In his bid to make it to the top, Timber needs to knock Sue Joy off his perch. Sue Joy and Timber are neck and neck in the seedings anyway, you know, it's like a 24 to 25. Sue Joy will be confident, he's always confident, and Timber, you know, he's just going for it. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I wouldn't like to wreck it. <laughs> It'd be terrible. Let battle commence. Timber and Sujoy storm through their first few matches and make it down from the first 500 to the final 64. It's only pretty easy, though. Know? The contenders are neck and neck going into the third round. Oh, what I personally get out of quick three is the competition pitting yourself against the best in the world and I guess uh, leaving your mark somewhere being one of the world's best at 
something. <laughs> hey man, nice wipeout. <laughs> it's a very fast game, it's very exciting to play. <laughs> the best thing about it is that you play other people around the world and you can beat someone else. And it's quite rewarding that way. They both have high expectations for this tournament. I've placed pretty well in the last few big co tournaments, so uh, I'd expect to be top ten in the world at least. I would imagine I'd come top sixteen, if not, uh, hopefully top sixteen, which is like would be uh, a very good trip. Nick and Glenn have just discovered Timbers up against the dangerous American Matador. They might do. I mean, CK Matador is uh, the ninth, ninth seed, so I mean that will be the one. If Timber gets an early lead, he'll stay confident. And I think that if he doesn't get an early lead against Matador, it could change his whole game plan. It may totally knock his confidence, so it's going to be a really, really, really crucial match for him. The British support can hardly watch the big screen, as Timber looks like he's on his way out. Amazingly, Timber surges back from 17-4 to steal the match. Yes! I thought I was lost, because he was winning 17-4. I just thought it was over, and I just played better. I thought I was gone. No nurse. <laughs> Fingers crossed, he's going to go further. I enjoy doing it much more than I would do worth it. I've worked at two supermarkets. I didn't like it very much at all. <laughs> As a professional player, Sujoy's every move is monitored by the press. Timber's got problems with Sujoy, and I think he's a little, perhaps a little bit jealous about the coverage that Sujoy has. But Timber's a great player. I mean, he proves time and time again that he's got what it takes to come and compete at these international events and go up against the best players. I think it takes quite a few skills to make money, and it's not just how good you are at the game. It's all about talking to companies, about communication. It's a lot about confidence as well. Well, Sujo is very upfront with people. He like says who he is, yeah. even to people he doesn't know, which is something you probably acquire from being a business person and going to uh, America and like going to another company. But I haven't had that yet. I just went to the supermarkets. Blokey's matching Timber's progress. Unexpected drama awaits the British competitors, as now they must come head to head. Timber beat Blokey twice in the London qualifier two weeks ago. So this should be easy. But Blokey thinks he's found a chink in Timber's armour. They're both great guys and they've both got fantastic skills and um, this is it. It's um, you know, life and death. <laughs> First point is, is going to be crucial to the rest of the gameplay in terms of uh, the state of mind of the other player. The first kill goes to Timber. Meanwhile, in another part of the arena, Sujoy starts to fight a crucial game. He's played a match more than Timber and lost one of his two tournament lives. The media watch to see if the golden boy of gaming will fall. Victory is vital. Uh, lightning gun fight near the jump up to railgun. Sujoy is fragged. This is a very important game because whoever side of this one is uh, going to be out of the tournament right now. Well, we're um, about halfway through the game now and um, Timber's taking a very strong lead at the moment, it's now 6-2. Two. two and a half minutes left to go. So Joy's uh, chasing Seth Katzman. Oh my god! So Joy's killed by Seth Katzman with the plasma gun. 7 is 5 with exactly two minutes remaining. That's the level pegging, they're now 5-5 five, five, and it's 10 minutes. There's five minutes remaining in the match and they're now level pegging. Oh no, Blakey should have taken the lead 6-5. Sojo's put on a really good fight this game, but it's not looking very good. Blakey's come back uh, from a long way now, um, and Tim is under a lot of pressure. There's only a minute now remaining in the game. It's all over. Blakey's beaten Tim by 9 7. No! Sujoy's lost his last life, and so goes out of the competition. Can't believe it. Timber's got a life in hand and fights on. So you're out? Yeah. Lost. I know he's below me, that's all I, that's all I, that's all I know.
I didn't put enough practice for this one, so I think now that I'm in San Diego and I have practice partners, I'll be able to work a lot harder for the next one. The players have been cocooned away for 15 hours. Timbers crossed the world to one of its most vibrant countries, but the bright lights of Dallas couldn't be further from his mind. He knows he's got a real chance of glory as he takes on Fatality, the highest paid gamer in history. I'm playing Fatality next. Du, du, du. <laughs> I'm the best uh, player in the world in uh, K3 Gaming. Uh, I'm the CPL champion of the year and uh, been going to uh, tournaments all over the world. DM6. No way! Please <laughs> score from DM6. You've got DM6. Against Fatality? No. No. Oh, no. If I lose, I go out. <laughs> and if I win, I go to the top 12. And lots of money. A crowd has gathered to watch the bloodbath. He's actually got a frag on Fatality, which is fantastic. But Timber's dream begins to slip away. He's not giving up without a fight. We're five frags behind uh, Fatality. Oh, that's better. Four frags, we've only got um, three minutes remaining in the match. One shot left! Oh! Oh, come on, Tim. Come on. No! <laughs> it's all over. Timber's on his way home. He was placed 16th in the world, winning $800. Sujoy came in 32nd. It was a good performance by me. I'm very happy. I'm not sure if I come to the next one because I have exams to. I'll never think about being a star until I'm there. I still think of myself as um, working towards that goal. I'm not there, so I won't think about it. That put less pressure on me. Ironically, the quiet British outsider, Blokey, had gone on to beat them both. Generation E's on the cyber case again tomorrow at the new time of 11.30. Meanwhile, Antoine's up to his old tricks again. Eurotrash is next on E4.